Hello everybody, welcome to this repurpose review video. Today I'm going to be telling you everything you need to know about repurpose. And as always, if you do have any questions, please leave them in the comment section down below. I'll also be leaving a discount link in the description of this video so that you can always get your money's worth for repurpose. So repurpose is a repurposing and distribution platform that is catered specifically towards video and audio creators. So it allows you to connect, you know, a numerous amount of say audio sharing sites such as YouTube and SoundCloud, and you're able to essentially create workflows for these. You're able to have templates and everything like that. So here we are on the main dashboard and we are greeted with the option on the left for workflows, connections, templates, affiliate and resources. And then in the main page, we obviously have our action. And then at the top right, we have the help center, any new features and notifications, and then our account buttons as well, along with some support in the bottom right if you do need any. But we're going to go ahead and begin with workflows. Now, before we go and make a workflow, you do have to connect two accounts. So I've gone ahead and added Zoom and YouTube as my two things. These are all the different connections that you can add you can have podcasts videos soundcloud youtube drive dropbox facebook zoom as you can see all of these different things all of them are you know audio and visual um uh, you know sharing platforms so all of them are, you know themed and have a roughly the same idea and the same you know concept but this is where you can connect as many as you want you need a minimum of two in order for it to work and you're then able to view obviously by source destination and then which ones are active and which ones are inactive as well once you've added the two that you want you're able to obviously go to workflows now this is where it will give you a little bit of an idea of how to create your first workflow but if we hit the create button we can then name it so we're just going to call it workflow one and hit next and then we're able to select our source type so for the sake of ease we're going to go ahead and do youtube and then we can pick a playlist if we wanted to as well but we don't need to do that and then you can choose an action which is upload a video or convert a video to audio and then you can obviously select snippets of the specified video or the full video itself so if we select snippets, we'll show you what these do. You then need to select a destination connection. So I've selected Twitter as the destination connection, but I'm also you can also select YouTube if you want. You can choose a playlist if you also want to, and then enter the name for a new playlist if you want to add one, and we'll call it Playlist 1. So once it's been created, any YouTube videos are then forwarded to Twitter, as you can see. The publish mode can be set to manual or auto, and what this basically does is, as you can see, new content is automatically published Twitter without within two hours of it being uploaded to YouTube. So any video that you go ahead and open your YouTube app and then upload will within two hours then appear on your Twitter page. So you won't have to upload the video twice. It will do it completely automatically for you. Then what you can do is you can either select only content published on this day or further forward or all of the existing content which isn't obviously recommended because it would take a long time and there are probably going to be some videos that you wouldn't want passed on you know to to twitter and appearing on both so you may have you know want some only appearing on one platform rather than both and then you can also select the date of which this to be happening as you can see for the top one you can set the date that that obviously starts from you also have the option to view the status and total and then if i hit view content you're able to then fetch the content and look at all of the videos that you have repurposed so if i did hit fetch content obviously we do not have any content on our youtube channel but this is where it would appear and as you can see we can repurpose 10 videos um, and basically this is the amount of videos that we can then choose to repurpose and turn change onto a different platform but as you can see what then this unlocks is the ability with all of these different integrations is you're able to use these different things so say a zoom meeting you're then able to upload as a youtube video if you have a facebook video you're able to upload that onto youtube if you have a video on your google drive you're able to upload Upload that to TikTok um, and really any of these go together you know some of them obviously won't most of them will as long as they make reasonable sense as to you know connect them two together so usually pinterest is another example you can basically pick and choose and it will help you with whatever you need to do now then we have the templates tab now we have the option for all horizontal vertical or square so this really depends on the platform that you're going to be publishing the videos on um, obviously horizontal will be anything with a regular 16 by 9 aspect ratio vertical will be anything with that flipped obviously like tiktok or instagram stories or youtube shorts or reels anything like that and then you obviously have a square for 
any applications that use a you know a fundamentally square aspect ratio for any of their things so you can create a new template by hitting here um create a name for the template and then you can obviously choose between the video or whether you want it to be a video to video or audio to video and then obviously have a choose size um, and all you would need to do is select which ones that you want and hit next after you've put the name and we'll call it one two three and then this would then create that specific template now this takes us to a page where we're able to obviously change the different elements and the background and all the all, all the features on this image and the images um, that we really want to change so obviously under the design tab we have the options to add all of these different things so text sound waves podcast artwork we obviously have elements where we're able to add shapes emojis and icons as you can see really whatever you want so say once it wanted a paypal logo in there one click and there it is and then you can drag it around with your mouse you obviously have the option to change the background as well so any of the white area of the thing will obviously change to any sort of thing that you want that is on this thing it's not, it's not obviously a very large amount of things but you can have almost any color that you want um, and then obviously a few of these sort of textured real life materials that may you know pique your interest um then you can obviously upload your own custom images if you did want to and then obviously the option to add gifts as well at the bottom here if you did want to have a gift then you're just able to import a gift that you want that is related to whatever you're creating your template for or your image for and then you'll just be able to add that and it'll be really really handy in order to help your consumers now hitting this little x button will take us out and this is where our template appears now we do also have the option for predefined templates so if we didn't want to have to make one ourselves, we do have seven different options for templates that we can personally add so we've got a podcast one if we wanted to add that we have a square zoom meeting so you can see speaker one speaker two and this is where your captions are displayed you have things for youtube videos basically anything that you would want these are the different templates that you can add so what this allows you to do is you know reach your engagement and, and increase your engagement on these social media platforms because a lot of the time on stuff like TikTok and YouTube, a lot of the you see like the video and then you also have text be uh, like above or below or to the side or even on top of it, showcasing information about what the video is actually trying to get across. Or if, for example, you wanted to use Zoom, for instance, you would obviously able to have your Zoom meeting on this gray section in the background here. In fact, let's click on this and have a little look. On this gray section in the background, you'd be able to have the meeting. You'd be able to maybe title what the meeting was. You'd be able to have the names of the speaker number one and the speaker number two. And then at the bottom, if there are any people that are hard of hearing or, you know, just, just to be able to help them understand what's going on you're also able to display your captions and then this red bar is obviously the the playback meter so you're able to look at how long it's been and obviously how long the video is left now under resources you then have the option to go through all of these so we have a help center if we need help with anything we have an option to contact support instead of hitting the bottom right button we have an onboarding video a mini course a video cheat sheet and then workflow diagrams so if we do hit on workflow diagrams this is where you can basically have a look at people PDFs of how people have gone about creating workflows for their specific use cases. So any sort of live videos, video workflows, you're able to look at the PDF here and any audio workflows that you've got where you want to change video to audio or vice versa, you're able to look at that here as well. Then there's a little bit of information below that, obviously, and that will basically tell you everything you need to know about the diagrams and how to get workflows properly working if you are having trouble with them as well. But apart from that, this is all the features that we have currently got on repurpose so now it really begs the question about what do i personally think about repurpose and i think that it really takes a unique approach towards a you know something that a lot of people find very useful you know tiktok and reels are a big thing at the moment and anywhere you go on any adverts for tv shows and stuff like that you will constantly see you know ads for youtube shorts and tiktok is a massive thing obviously and you'll have people having text and everything to describe it it really engages the viewer because short form content is something that is on the increase and it very very much so so having these little bits of text and having these more diagrams on the image really really help just engage the viewer it makes you want to look at it more it makes it more aesthetically pleasing it makes them want to look at it and everything about that is what this aims to tackle and make it so easy and so seamless to add and that is what i absolutely love and the fact that it has so many connections that you're able to connect it with almost any social media page that is out there that you would need obviously because of you know the the amount of video platforms that there are 
this covers almost all of them the you know an everyday user is going to be using so i really really like it for that and i definitely would recommend repurpose to anyone you know looking to save time on creating short form content but obviously get that text aspect on it and not just have a boring blatant video slap bang on their page but they want to have a little bit more to it a little bit more you know fizzazz or whatever but that is about it so thank you everyone so much for watching and i will see you next time goodbye